Hey, what's up? This is Václav. In one of my recent projects, I decided to base the whole home automation on scenes. I had a very good reason for that, and I will explain that in my next video. So make sure you don't miss that one out. It was a cool one. And if you're subscribed to my channel, uh, I'm sure it'll pop up. What's great about scenes is you can combine different attributes or parameters of devices in a single preset. For example, for the lights, you can set their state, light intensity and color temperature. For, for heating, it could be the heating mode or air conditioning mode, target temperature. Uh, for media players, you can have the playlist and the volume and so on. And you can combine different devices in different areas into a single preset. And then you can activate it with a single action. Always the same always consistent and very simple, no automation required. Anyway, in my own house, I didn't use scenes much. And the ones I have, I set them up manually in YAML a while ago. But in that project, I was automating a weekend house of my brother-in-law and he doesn't really care about home assistant as much as I do. So I wanted to stay away from YAML if possible. So on that journey, I have learned that Home Assistant has a hidden gem no one is really talking much about, the scene editor. And here is how it works. Go to settings, automation and scenes, switch to scenes and add a scene. Now give it a name, I'm gonna call it YouTube. And then add all the devices or entities you want to participate in that scene. I prefer entities, because the device IDs, they cannot be changed for a device. And if I have to or decide to change the device in the future, when I use the entities, I can always use the same entity IDs for the new device. So I won't have to redo all the automations or scenes in this case. So I'll add the light behind me. You can't see that because it's turned off, but it's called uh, light background or posadi uh, in check. And then I click on each entity um, and I set it to the state I want it to be registered in that scene, literally. If I want the light to be on, I switch it on, set the color temperature and so on. If I thermostat to be on a certain target temperature, I set it there. On all entities, one by one. So I turn the light on, send it to 100% and I set it to green and then I close it and then I save the scene. Now, I'm still on that scene and the entities are set uh, the same way they were for the scene. So, do I have to turn them off manually now? <laughs> well, not really. When I go back to exit the scene, it will magically set them back to the state they were in before I created the scene. The way it works is actually quite simple <laughs> and quite clever. When you create or edit a scene, it will make sort of an invisible temporary scene where it will remember all the states of all the devices or entities in that scene. Then for setting the scene up, it will activate the scene for you to tweak it. Then when you're done, it will recover the state where it was before from that invisible temporary scene. So if I want to change the scene setup, I just open it and it will automatically activate it. So I make changes, for example, I set the color to this uh, blue and then I will save it. And when I leave the scene, it will again set it back to the normal state. But uh, the scene has been now changed to this new color I set up. So it's been updated. When I did it for the first time, uh, I didn't know what is going on. I just wanted to edit it, but it activated the scene each time I opened that. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was broken. But then I exited the scene and everything returned to the state it was before. And then I got it. It's actually quite clever and quite fun. Well, to add to my initial confusion, I had an automation that was triggered when the scene was activated. So that one was also being activated when I was editing the scene. and. That's why it took me quite some time to figure out what was going on. But once I understood it, it actually helped me to simplify everything, got rid of that automation, and uh, now everything is nice and simple.
Now, to use that scene, I can either add that scene to the dashboard and when I want to activate it, click on it and hit activate. Or use it in an automation and activate it by calling the service scene turn on. So these were scenes, enjoy them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.